Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today we're going to be making something really cute. It's tie-dyed butterflies. These are to die for. So what we're going to need for our tie-dyed butterflies are some coffee filters. We're going to need some water-based uh, magic markers. We're going to need a little bit of water. Now, if you happen to have one, an eyedropper is fabulous. But if you don't have an eyedropper, don't despair. You can use a Q-tip. We're also going to need a chenille stem, about four to six inches long. And last but not least, we are going to need a clothespin. Now, if you can't find one of these in grandma's attic, and you can't find one in your own home, you might need to check at a hardware store. Now, if you don't find them at a hardware store, you can go to the craft store, but they will be called doll pins. Now, clothespins used to be around everywhere, but now they have a fancy name, doll pins. Okie dokie. What we're gonna do is we are gonna start with our coffee filter, and we're gonna put it on a paper plate. I'm going to put it down here just like this and I'm going to take one of my markers and I am going to have so much fun just designing and covering this with lots and lots of designs. Now you can use as many colors as you possibly can think of because the more colors you have the better. Now put swirlies and twirlies and lots of designs because the more you put into it the better it's going to look. Here's some examples that I've already done ahead of time for you. See how much color there is on there? That's what you want to do. See all these different designs and patterns and colors? Really, you don't have to worry what you're doing. Just make it colorful and full. Once you're done that, I'm going to take this one right here, you are going to add water. Now make sure that you make two of these because you're going to want to make uh, two sets of wings for your butterfly. Now if you've got that fabulous eyedropper, squeeze it now put it in the water and release. That's the way you suck the water up. And then very gently, bloop, let little drops of water fall onto your coffee filter. Now what's gonna start happening, which is really cool, is these colors are gonna start to mix together and blend together just like tie-dye. It's so much fun. Now, remember I said you didn't have to have one of these. And if you don't have an eyedropper, don't get upset, just use little q-tip and it takes a little bit more time because you're kind of going to paint now with your q-tip instead of with the eyedropper where you can drop it really quickly but you have a lot more control too with the q-tip now you're going to want to make sure that you get your entire coffee filter nice and wet if it's a beautiful sunny day outside you can then take your coffee filter out and hang it out outside it'll dry in about 10 minutes if you have to be indoors that's okay just take a paper towel Lay it down just like that and transfer your coffee filter onto that paper towel and let it dry for about 30 minutes. When it's all done, it's going to be absolutely beautiful. It's going to look something like this. Now, in the meantime, while that's drying, you get to decorate your little body. Now, remember that your wings are going to go in this way. So you don't want to put your face where the cut is in the clothespin. You want to put your face on the flat side. So I'm going to take my little marker and I'm going to draw a cute little face right here. Oh, I used yellow. You'll never see his face if I put yellow. He'll be kind of like the invisible man. But here we go. I'm going to give him little blue eyes, just like me, and a big blue smile, just like me. And then I can color and decorate the rest of him. Let me show you a couple that we did ahead of time here. Here's a silly one. She's got a funny little face. Beautiful eyes, don't you think? And here's another one. This one I've added some googly eyes. Now once you get them all decorated up, you're going to add the antennas. And this is where that little chenille stem comes in. So I'm going to take my chenille stem. Here's my little guy. I'm going to lay him down so that his eyes are facing down. And I'm going to take my chenille stem, lay it on the front of his neck, just like I would a scarf. And I'm going to wrap it around, I'm going to flip it over so you can see that those are sticking up. It's making like the letter U around him. And I'm just going to give it one twist, just like that. And now I'm going to pull these up, bloop, bloop, just like that. And now I've got antenna for my butterfly. Now he's a little wonky. They're a little uh, off center here. Now you can leave them like that. Some people like wonky antennas. But if you're one of those people that likes them to be exactly the same, 
Just give it a little trim, just like that. If you want to, you can add some beads. Maybe your butterfly is going to be a star. I got some little star beads here. I'm going to slide them on the ends of my antenna. And to lock them in place, I'm just going to slide them down a little teeny bit and leave a little bit of that pipe cleaner there. I'm just going to lock it in place just like that. And I'm going to do the other side too, just like that. Now we're ready to add our wings. And our wings, we're going to use these beautiful tie-dyed coffee filters. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold my butterfly just like that. And I'm going to take my coffee filter, I'm going to slide it up into the cut, and I'm just going to slowly start scrunching it in there. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Just like that. There's my first wing. Oh, I knocked my antennas askew. I'll fix those later. And now I've got another one here already and set and prepared, and I'm going to put that in on the bottom, just like this. Do, 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 do. And then you fluff those wings in place, just like that. Fix your antenna so you're not cattywampus. And there you go. Easy peasy, lemon breezy, an adorable little tie-dyed butterfly. Now what's really fun is you can tie a little string around them and you can hang them. If you do three or four or five of them, you can make them into a mobile. You can even use them on the top of a birthday present as a little, uh, as a little name tag. You can do so many things with these butterflies. I can't wait to see what you're going to create. Come on over to sophie-world.com and try out some more of our ideas.